guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another one for my back to school series and it is one that's been requested for a really long time. It is DIY binder organization. So I actually DIY'd and decorated this binder this afternoon and I'm gonna show you guys how I decorated it as well as all the stuff that I put inside and how I set it out to make sure that you guys are gonna be super organized for going back to school. And if you guys want more organization videos in the next couple of weeks, then just leave a comment below and also give this video a big thumbs up to let me know. And of course, if you guys are new to my channel and you're not already subscribed, you should definitely click the little red subscribe button below because I've got some really exciting stuff happening on my channel. And I'm also having a huge back to school supplies giveaway as well. So if you guys haven't checked out that video, then I'll leave the link to it in the description box below. And you can go and check it out and enter after you watch this video, guys. And without further ado, let's get into my DIY binder organization video. Okay, so first things first, you want to decorate your binders and make them look nice for class. So I went and bought these white binders that have a plastic pocket covering because they're really easy to decorate. All I did was I went to my local scrapbooking store and picked out some pretty paper that I wanted to decorate the binder with. So all you have to do is open the binder and place your paper on the inside of the cover to measure how much you'll need. Then take a ruler and draw a line down the end so you can cut off the excess in a straight line. I ended up using this excess piece of paper to go down the spine of the binder too and then wrote the subject's name on a label and stuck it on top so it's easy to identify when it's inside your locker. Alright, now it's time to DIY the inside of the binder and make sure you have everything you need inside to be organised for class. Something I used to do at school and think is a really cute way to not only be organised but also spice up your binders is to take a couple of envelopes and stick them on the insides of the cover. I chose these pastel blue and pink envelopes to go with the front cover design of the binder and stuck them down with some gold washi tape and then decided to fill each one with some post-it notes and to-do lists. Also, this binder did have the plastic pockets at the bottom, but they didn't seem to be able to hold very much, so they're really only good for keeping a handout or two inside. Also, I think it's so convenient to have post-it notes on you during class because you can flag different pages or even write memos on them and stick them near different key definitions and quotes and important information or anything you don't understand that you need to revise and come back to later. Something I recommend you print off and keep in your binder is a yearly calendar. So I just got this one off the internet and printed it on some nice blue paper and then hole punched it to keep it at the front of the binder. It's a great way to keep track of important events or upcoming assignments throughout the year, so make sure to mark them off in the calendar right away so you don't forget them. Then something I made sure to do when I started university was to get a hold of my course outline and keep that inside my binder as well. This is a really great resource for keeping track of the information you're learning in class and is probably going to be your new best friend come exam time because you can use it as a checklist to make sure you've revised everything that will likely be on your exam. When it comes to keeping the contents of your binder organised, dividers are a must. So I couldn't find any dividers that I liked and that were actually in the colour scheme I was working with, so I decided to buy some pretty sheets of paper and DIY my own dividers. You can divide the contents of your binders according to how many weeks there are in a term or semester, or you can separate your notes and handouts according to the subtopics, so it's really up to you. 
So I made 10 dividers and because the A4 paper is 30 centimeters long, I ruled each tab to be 3.75 centimeters in length and then 1.5 centimeters wide. Now something you definitely will need to keep in your binders is some blank paper. One way to keep track of where you are or even to show how much you've revised for an exam is to use a bulldog clip. So I bought this gold one recently and thought it would go really nicely so I just placed it at the top to use later on. So every subject is likely going to have a major assignment, project or essay each year, so I decided it would be really convenient to tear off a few sheets of my essay planner and project planner from Seated Education Re, my stationery line. And of course I'll make sure to leave a link to the website below so you guys can check it out as well. Sometimes I would begin working on an essay or assignment during class or during a lesson break, so this is a really convenient way to make sure you can begin planning your work wherever you are. So comment below which was your favorite tip I shared in today's video for organizing your binders. And if you guys enjoyed this video, then of course, give it a big thumbs up to let me know. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you click the little red subscribe button down there so that you can be notified whenever I post up new videos. So I'm posting up every Wednesday and Saturday for July and August because it is back to school time. And I want to get you guys super organized and also excited for going back to school. Also, if you guys haven't checked out my recent video, then I'll leave the link to that in the description box below, or you can also click up over there. All right, guys, I'll see you in a couple of days with another back to school study tips video. Bye.